We've got a crisis at the border. We've got a crisis in our government. And we've got a fascinating interview with President Trump. This is Steve Elliott with Brian Connor with this VIP briefing. Brian, it just doesn't seem to slow down even a little bit anymore, the news, does it? Well, we know, uh, Steve, as a party, the Democrats thrive on crisis because like Rahm Emanuel said just after uh, Barack Obama was elected, he said, uh, you never want a crisis to go to waste. Right. So the manufactured crisis after manufactured crisis is something that just, uh, I guess, maybe, you know, they feel like keeps their side engaged. And, uh, you know, when we as uh, uh, whether we're Republicans or independents, yeah. any non-Democrat that doesn't snap to it, mm -hmm. uh, we're part of the problem and not part of the solution. So. Well, there's a crisis at the border, and let's see if we can have Mike Pence tell us a little Every bit about American that. who cares deeply about the human suffering that's happening across this country and, frankly, on both sides of the border needs to let their voice be heard okay. because a storm is coming one week from today at the southern border. We're about to go from bad to worse, but it doesn't happen. Every American who cares. So what did we just hear, Brian? He said two things. He said a storm is coming. Yep. And he said every American needs to let their voice be heard. So tell us about the storm, Brian. What's the storm that's happening at the border right now? Well, a Trump era um, solution that they had for, you know, to kind of tamp down on illegal immigration was something called Title 42. Right. And that's about to expire. That will expire uh, on next Thursday, uh, May 11th. And mm -hmm. so um, there's reportedly 700,000 illegals waiting to storm the border. Mm -hmm. once um, that expires. And so we've already had in, in you know, the pa over the past two years, five million um, encounters with illegal aliens at the border. And those aren't even the gotaways. Right. And so, you know, it's, it's a humanitarian crisis. Uh, it's a security crisis. And it's something that um, in the House, the Republicans are trying to um, combat illegal immigration and secure the border with uh, HR2, which is the Secure the Border Act of 2023. Right. And so, uh, like, the vice Before president the said, on that, Brian, this, this is from El Paso. These images are from El Paso. I believe in the last 24 hours, hundreds of illegals are basically just waiting for this to lift. They won't, they're not, and the government isn't enforcing it anyways at this point, right? They're not actually sending back illegals. So they're waiting for this to right. fully lift so that they can actually then be free, quote unquote, to move around the country, sadly. But it's 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 getting more and more and more chaotic. Um, and we're heading to a crisis and a shutdown. I believe it's next week. Am I right about yeah. that? That it yeah. lifts next week? We heard from our contact on Capitol Hill in the House who said that um, a vote on the act, uh, again, the uh, Secure the Border Act of 2023 is expected on Thursday. Mm -hmm. So the fact that that's when Article 42 expires and that's when they plan to have the vote, I know right. that's you know going to seem symbolic and, you know, many Americans would like to see them do something sooner. Um, but, yeah, there you're looking at video of people just getting supplies. It's just a madhouse. I mean, this is what we've fostered with our lawlessness and with our, our refusal to enforce ingra uh, immigration laws that uh, are on the book. And. Here's the thing that, that we've long said, Steve, at Grass Fires, you know, we're not anti-immigration. We're anti-illegal immigration. Right. There should be a path to become a citizen of this great nation. Right. Uh, I looked it up last night, and ever since, you know, the, the, um, the United States of America was formed, there have been some kind of uh, uh, immigration uh, guidelines. Right. And uh, now there aren't. You can, you know, you could just... I mean, I, and I just uh, I'm fearful for what's going to happen if, you know, um, these 700,000, uh, this is what basically is an invading force, hopefully not a hostile force, but they are an invading force. And uh, what's going to happen in a week of 700,000 of them trying, you know, crush the border and come into the into the country? Well, it's going to be chaos, which is why uh, the House is issues, what you called H.R. 2. You mentioned it before. Here's just some of of what H.R. 2 uh, hopes to accomplish. Uh, you can see it. It's forced the Biden administration to restart construction of a border wall. Imagine that. Deploy technology to the southern and northern border. Increase the number of border patrol agents. Provide bonus pay. Require transparency regarding illegal crossings. 
from the Department of Homeland Security. Strengthen current law to protect unaccompanied children from being human trafficked. End catch and release. End abuse of executive immigration authority. Strengthen and streamline the asylum process. Basically, we got to stop the invasion. Now, Grassfire has been saying stop the invasion. I, I mean, I hate to say it. It's not quite two decades, but it's coming up on it because it was 2006, 2007 when Grassfire mm -hmm. got way out in the front of this issue, Brian. I know you remember it was like this. like a founding issue. It was. It was it, and it was. And when we started it, most conservatives considered it kind of not appropriate to call it an invasion. But we're showing images today that are on uh, your VIP briefing. You can go look at that on your VIP briefing page today. We've, we're, we, it's important for us to see there's literally an invasion. Now, we don't fault the people trying to come to this country. This is a great country. They want to come here for better opportunities. Right. But you don't have a country if you don't have a border. It's just exactly. that simple. You don't have a country if you don't have a border. You don't. You can't enforce your laws. You can't enforce your culture. You can't enforce your social structure. You can't right. have, ed educational system collapses. It create there's chaos. There's absolutely. Well, one of the things we say in our, our recently uh, launched fax fire, and we also yeah. have a petition for people to sign. Um, if you're a VIP member, you probably already got a couple of those messages. Yeah. Is that you know this is a threat. It's a direct threat to every American's safety our security, our sovereignty, and our very way of life. And, um, you know, one of the things you had there on that uh, that list, and point number five, was about the children. We haven't even talked about that. But uh, whistleblower claims um, estimate some 85,000 unaccompanied children mm -hmm. have been um, lost track of. They, these children have come to the United States unaccompanied. Some, I mean, there's even video. Some just dropped over a border fence. Some, many found on the side of the road. Uh -huh. And now the, the U.S. government has lost 85,000 of them, according to one report. You know, that's enough to fill up Yankee Stadium twice. Right. It's just um, it's a nightmare. Uh, right. And because it's not, you know, the border's not being run uh, and the immigration process is not being run as it should be. Right. And the interesting thing is finally in nearly after 20 years, the mainstream liberal media is starting to pick it up, sending reporters to El Paso sending reporters to the border and starting to show this footage. Meanwhile, the president sleeps. I mean, it's unbelievable. We feature a video in today's uh, VIP briefing where literally the president is just calling a lid every day. They're calling a lid almost every day. He, he had the lightest week that uh, White House reporters can re remember ever a president having almost doing right. nothing at a time when our nation is in is an absolute crisis so listen we've got actions for for grass fire team members we we're looking to add another 20 25,000 petition signers we've had hundreds of thousands over the years but we need a fresh batch so please if you haven't already done so uh, look for your email go to grassfire.com sign this national uh, petition to stop the invasion. There's other actions associated with that that you can take, but we need you to sign that petition. You know, there's another crisis that's brewing right now. It's getting worse and worse, and uh, and it's it, it deals with the uh, what what you're calling, Bright Brian, the fight to the debt. Maybe you can explain the fight to the debt. Well, we're gonna. Um, government says it's gonna run out of money on June 1st. They need to borrow. They need to increase the limit on the national credit card. Uh, Kevin McCarthy's given them a bill that raises the debt ceiling 1.5 trillion, um, and that but, barely carries us a year, right? That's yeah, about yeah, because spending is so bad. But right. what McCarthy wants is to um, introduce spending cuts. A bunch of it, a bunch of those cuts will defund uh, the radical left and Joe Biden's America Last agenda, which personally we think is great because a smaller government is a better government for the American people. Right. Um, but you know. Joe has refused to negotiate. He said it's non-negotiable. Um, a bill that was passed last week, uh, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer called it dead on arrival. Uh, but now there appears to have been some kind of breakthrough where um, Joe Biden called Kevin McCarthy and they're supposed to talk. Uh, but I don't think that's supposed to be until like next week. So the clock's ticking. Yeah. Next the guy week. you just saw on the, um, yeah, on the screen. Larry Kudlow from Fox Business. He said a lot of great things to say. Let's let's listen a little bit from Kudlow because it is it is pretty fascinating. Let's see if we can get that. Our you know technology after June one. I'm being honest here. I've combed through the numbers. I've also looked at the work of others who are a lot smarter than I am, and it seems like everybody's coming up with the same conclusion. 
June 1 or mid-June could be the X date. Now, there's only so much Janet Yellen can loot from the retirement funds of the civil service, the post office, the, Ouch. Thrift, the thrift savings plan, the exchange stabilization fund. She could keep looting even more in return for IOUs to pay him back, the so-called treasury non-marketables, but it gets dicier and dicier as the Biden deficit hall gets deeper and deeper. Another problem is, when you take a look at oil and other commodity price declines, it's got recession all over it. Oil is, did I see oil is $69 a barrel. Now, the good news is the commodity. It's, it's getting pretty dire, Brian, uh, where the, these emergency measures are basically stealing from the retirement, creating more I'll use the government. Releasing. Looting. Hey. Remember, yeah. looting. He called it, he actually called it looting, which is, you know, it's, we've been looting from the Social Security Trust Fund for decades. It's been yeah. happening for decades. And now we're coming up to, uh, the, he, he says it won't be June 1, but it'll be shortly after that. And he said it because the spending is out of control. Government spending is on a, a we're on a $2 trillion deficit pace this fiscal year, Brian. And because of that, uh, it, it may come sooner than the middle of June. It's going to be somewhere in the first two weeks of June. So we're stacking up two of the largest issues that impact our country, border security and this debt crisis. Both are coming to a head, and it's going to come down to what the American people, citizens like you, Grassfire team members, our VIPs, and those who are listening on special invitation, uh, a special opportunity to become a VIP, we need you to take action, rally your friends, take a stand on both these issues. If you're concerned about border security, sign that petition, take the actions. If you're concerned about the debt crisis, about the bankrupting of our country for your children and grandchildren, then take action on these two issues. Yeah, they, they, the bill that, um, and again, it's, it's a manufactured crisis. They could enforce um, immigration law at the border, and um, they could uh, negotiate and sign this bill. It does raise the debt ceiling, you know, but they just want to continue to have everything they want, you know, like a, a spoiled teenager. And so, you know, when you have, uh, you know, the guy who's supposed to be the leader of the free world who won't even pick up the phone or it takes months at least to pick up the phone to call the, the you know, the new boss at, at the house. You just got to wonder, you know, why why do we continue to do this as a nation? Yeah, you know, I we're running short on time. I want to mention, please, uh, for our VIPs, make sure you see the uh, the article by Nigel Farage. That's uh, Farage. I say his name right. Uh, the British leader of the Brexit movement on Donald Trump. It's it's really a very fascinating read. Uh, he has great insights into Trump. But I, I kind of want to close with uh, something that we featured Brian in an update. I believe it was yesterday to our team members. Yes. Uh, quote from Tucker Carlson where in his little short that I think was seen by 65 million people. I, it was an immense number of people. And yep. we're going to have some actions in that too, because it looks like Fox is holding him hostage. And we're going to have to take action on that as well, Brian, because it's absolutely ridiculous. They're trying to silence him through the next election. But yeah. Tucker said, true things prevail. Where can you still find Americans saying true things? There aren't many places, but there are some, and that's enough. As long as you can hear the words, there is hope. And, you know, Brian, that's been our desire all, all you know, we've been working together for years. Is yep. that grass fire be one of those places where truth, there be where truth was being spoken. True things you've always said, we've always we've said report truth, take action. We want to report truth to uh, the American people so they can take action. And I just want to invite personally uh, our team members. If you're not a VIP, if you watch this special, please become a VIP. We need your help right now. We've been we've been threatened and silenced and blacklisted four times in the past year, been, able, been unable to contact about 100,000 team members and even more during some, some times. We're yeah. fighting the battle. We need help. We need help desperately. The best way you can help is to become a VIP, $15 a month. You're going to get 80% off our faxes. Uh, there's plenty of other bonuses. You'll get our morning news digests uh, three to five days a week. Uh, unlimited faxes to your members of Congress for 99 cents, our new impact portal, which is even a, another unique way you can get your messages directly to your members of Congress. But the most important thing is you'll be helping Grassfire fight this battle, Brian. And, yeah. and be, we're one of the ones that are, that are standing for truth, that are, that are saying true things. Yeah. He said that um, a week ago yesterday on his, you know, his video after he got fired and uh, it just echoed with us, mm -hmm. you know, true things prevail. And there are still people out there saying true things. And, and, you know, we really like to 
pride ourselves in in speaking truth because you know we follow god who, who tells us that you know you will know the truth and it will set you free so mm -hmm. truth is a very good thing and we've stood on it you know we've kind of hung our hats on it as an organization but we can't do it alone you know our job is to make to make it possible for you our team members vip or otherwise to make their voices heard we're not mm -hmm. carrying the water for the republican party or for democrats or independents or anybody else we're carrying it for you to try and give you a voice on the key issues of our day. So for $15 a month, you know, you get some really uh, good tools to help you do that at some big savings. Mm -hmm. So come on aboard. Well, thank you so much uh, for uh, taking part in this report. For Brian Connor, this is Steve Elliott for Grassroot. Have a great day.